pollution is a serious issue in Hong Kong, and, and many factors need to be taken into consideration to invest when investigating the main cause of it. Visibility in Hong Kong is less than 8 kilometers for over 30% of the year. The number of days in which visibility was less than 8 kilometers and rise from 40 in 1997 to 102 in 2005. China contributes to 36% of Hong Kong's air pollution. One factor is how motor vehicles and factories contribute to air pollution. There are two major issues related to air pollution in Hong Kong, street level pollution and regional smog pollution. The smog is caused by factory emissions, motor vehicles and power plants. Many taxis and public light buses still have not replaced their filters on their vehicles for over 10 years. This is a significant problem and it is estimated that 80% of taxis and 45% of light buses are running on old filters and therefore emitting more pollutants. Environmental Protection Department established into 1986. We have the local, locally produced air pollution like the vehicles, uh, the marine traffic and uh, the power plants are the major ones and then we have the regional air pollution which comes from the Guangdong area, the Pearl River Delta. A rather more effective air quality index than the past because the, the air pollution index in the past contains a, like a simple number 1 to 5 grading from Good to poor air quality, but the AQHI like contains the health issue in the index, so it gives the short-term health impact to the public. So it gives you more information from the index. Another factor is the burning of fossil fuels and energy generation contribution to air pollution. The emissions of power plants would affect the air quality immensely. Therefore, to help improve our air quality, the power companies must further reduce their emissions. It also help issues that are triggered by the increase of air pollution. The pollution causes many cases of asthma and bronchial disease, which cause a lot of health care and medicine. Young children and elderly are the most vulnerable to air pollution. The long-term effects are lung, lung cancer, respiratory disease, heart disease, and many more. These are often a very strong trigger for asthmatics. Air pollution is a very serious issue that is getting worse by the minute if no effective action is being taken. Uh, we are working on different areas to improve the air quality in Hong Kong. and uh, We have to exercise uh, different regulations under the air quality protection, air pollution protection ordinance and we have to control the emissions from like stationary sources, the power plants, the industries, the commercial sectors and the industrial se sectors. And uh, we have to control the roadside emissions like the motor vehicles and the marine pollution. <laughs> The government has also introduced legislation and funding schemes to improve the energy efficiency of buildings. And energy efficiency labeling of electrical appliances have become mandatory to encourage energy saving. Okay, uh, the Clean Air Plan is released in March uh, 2013, for about a year ago. And it out outlines uh, the challenges in the Hong Kong phasing with the air quality and the it's about the policies and measures in the clean air plant. It gives the detailed account of the air quality management programs in Hong Kong. It contains some measures in different uh, pollution sources like the vehicles, marine emissions and the power plants, which are the major emission sources in Hong Kong. 